This is my Trice XL. I've had it for about 10 years. From this angle you wouldn't know it had been electrified. As we come round you can see the motor assembly neatly stowed behind the back seat. Here is the 250 watt 24 volt DC brushed motor fitted to the back of the trice. It's supported by a spring underneath the platform that it's mounted on and it swivels on hinges at the back of the platform. The only destructive modification to the trike was to remove a short section of the rear mudguard. There you see the friction roller which is a piece of steel tubing fitted with a 3 8 inch number 4 self-tapping screws. These are very hard so they don't wear quickly. Here is the homemade shock absorber to stop the platform bouncing up and down on its spring. It's made from a piece of 22mm copper pipe with a coin as a piston in thick oil. The motor platform is raised and lowered using a Bowden cable going to a gear lever on the handlebars. In this way the motor can be detached fully from the tyre so the trike becomes quite normal in operation. Here are the control levers. The one on the left raises and lowers the motor platform and the one on the right is the speed control for the motor. This is the on-off switch mounted on the left handlebar using a micro switch. The system is powered by two lithium ferrophosphate batteries. Each battery is 12 volts, 12 ampere hours. The batteries are connected through IEC connectors to make connections simple and foolproof. Each battery is supplied with its own charger.